Hello everybody, welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a category combination discount. Well, we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you have downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. Well, category combination discounts are a great way to allow customers to buy categories of products together. Right? And it's a great way to increase your sales, isn't it? Customers get to explore the different products on your store using this specific discount type. Now, to make sure you create a category combination discount, you will have to first go to the WordPress dashboard. Under WooCommerce, you'll find Woo Discount Rules. So, you'll be taken to this page. And if you click on Add New Rule, you will be able to start writing your rule. Alright? Let's first enter a discount rule title. The scenario that we're going to make use of for this specific video, as this is a category combination discount, we're going to ask customers to buy one item from each of these categories A, B and C and only if they buy A, B and C categories together they'll be able to receive 10% discount on all three of them. Alright, so to do this I'm going to first enter a rule title which says 10% off category combination discount. After you enter a descriptive title you can just go select your discount type. The discount type that I'm going to select is a product adjustment discount type. Okay. And here in the filters, we get to decide the products that are eligible for this specific discount. As said, this is going to be a category combination discount. So I'm going to select category here, include. And list is to include those categories. As I said, we're going to include three categories in this filter. So that this 10% off applies to those three specific categories and the categories are accessories, casual wear and t-shirts. Alright, so these are the three categories that are going to be eligible for this specific category combination discount. Now since we have defined those three categories in the filter, let's go ahead decide the discount type and the value. I'm going to set the discount type to percentage discount and the value to 10. Alright, nice. Now to make sure that the cart of customers contain at least one product from each of these categories, we will have to add a category combination condition. Alright, so let me click on this add condition button. And here we are going to select from the drop down a condition called category combination. Alright. And the combination type is going to be each. Why each? Because we want customers to add at least one product from each of these categories. And then qualify for the 10% discount on all of them. Alright, that's why I'm setting the combination type to be each. And here we will have to again include the three categories as mentioned in the filters. So it's going to be accessories, casual wear, and t-shirts. Isn't it? So whatever categories you enlist in the filters, you can also include it here. And then you can select quantity. How many number of products from these different categories are to be in the card if they want to qualify for this 10% off. I'm going to set the quantity here. You can also go for subtotal, line item count, etc. I'm going to go for quantity and the comparison should be greater than or equal to 1. Meaning at least 1 product from each of these categories must be in the cart of the customers to qualify themselves for 10% off. Alright, so it is important for you to create category combination discounts using this specific condition. Alright, with that condition added to the rule, we're going to save this particular rule. And after we save the rule, it's important for us to notice that the rule is activated, means enabled. And then it's time for us to test this. To test this, I'm going to take you to the storefront. Here we are on the storefront. And the categories eligible for this specific 
discount or accessories, casual wear and t-shirts, isn't it? So let me first go to accessories and add at least one item from this specific accessories category. I've added this belt to the card. Alright. Now, next we'll have to go to the casual wear category and then add at least one product. I'm going to add this hoodie with logo to the card. Next we'll have to go to the t-shirts category. And add at least one item from the t-shirt category. I'm going to add this polo to the card. Alright, nice. Now I'm going to take you to the card page. And if you go to the card page, you'll be able to see a 10% discount is supplied on all three of them. Isn't it? What happens if the condition is not met? Now you can notice that 10% is applied on all three of them only because the condition is met. Because we have at least one product from each of the three categories defined in the rule. Isn't it? We have belt from accessories category and then hoodie with logo from the casual wear category and t-shirts, polo t-shirt from the t-shirts category and that's why we see a 10% is applied on all three of them. Even if one of the categories is missing, let's say, let's try removing this polo from the card, you will notice that the discount will not be applied on either of the products. Why? Because the condition isn't satisfied. So only if all three categories are present in the card, the discount will be applied. This is something that has to be noted. Thank you so much for watching. This is how we go about creating category based discounts.